Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at a round rack roof rack system. This is going to be the longer version with the 54 inch long vortex arrow crossbars and the through feet for raised rails. We'll see how it fits your 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE. So if you want to carry around some fun accessories like kayaks or a roof box or a roof basket, what you first need is a roof rack system. There's a bunch of different options for your Mercedes-Benz GLE wagon version SUV. Because you have the raised rails, it makes things a little bit more simple in terms of installing crossbars. But within those different options, you want to make sure you get the right one for you. So this specific version is actually my recommendation for if you want longer crossbars. This helps because then you get more overhang and more space to put accessories, although it's not as low profile as your shorter crossbars. So let's take some measurements and see if it is the right fit for you. Compared to the round and square crossbars you get traditionally, those have a lot of wind drag and wind noise. So vortex arrow means they're a bit more aerodynamic, less wind drag, less wind noise. Make sure you put the rubber strips underneath though if they do make sounds. And this makes it a bit more sleek. So most of your modern accessories fit on these bars. So the main thing with this one is overhang. And that's measured from the end of the crossbar or the end of the tower to right before the end cap of the crossbar. So for example, we have about three and a half inches of overhang. Some accessories require a specific overhang like kayak carriers that have a load assist function like the Thule Hull Evader. Now, some people don't like too much overhang because then it sticks a little bit past the vehicle and for smaller cars, you could possibly hit your head on it when getting into the vehicle. But with this SUV, it's not gonna be an issue because of how high up it sits. So there are two roof clearance measurements that you'll want to keep in mind. One is going to be how much space you have underneath the crossbar. This is going to be for your clamps, your U-bolts and wing nuts, and you have two and a quarter inches, which is pretty low profile. In that case, please take a look at what accessories you have and make sure that the clamps are not too big. Next is the height added to the top of the roof. And remember, you do have some ridges on your roof. So I'm measuring at the center, right below or beside one of the ridges. It sits at three and a half inches of space around that space. And that's gonna be where your cargo sits. So let's say you're carrying around skis and snowboards, especially skis with extra tall bindings. You wanna make sure that there's enough clearance so they don't hit your roof and scratch it up. And if there is not enough clearance, then you can take a look at our accessories that give you more height. At the end of your crossbars, you have these end caps. You also have an included tool to unlock them and take them off. So here you can see the shape of the crossbar as well as up top the track. So this track is where you can put your T-Track mounted accessories. You are gonna have to remove this rubber strip though. So this is great for keeping everything in place. The downside is you're gonna have to cut it up around your accessories. So you may wanna get an extra pack of these just if you plan on doing that. Included with this are your towers for raised rails. So these clamp around your rails. You can position them wherever you want and then just tighten them down. They work together with the crossbars. So that's why I recommend using our fit guide here at eTrailer.com to get the full kit for you. So my personal thoughts about this roof rack system is if I was to choose, I would pick this from all of the other options for the GLE, just because I like that extra overhang. It makes it easier to reach up there, put things on there and take down your cargo. Another pro to this is how quick and easy it is to install things. It takes about a couple of minutes if you already know what you're gonna do and it's easy to take right back off. The downside to this is it does have the plastic end cap lock core and you are gonna have to purchase the metal lock cores separately. Also with this, you are gonna have to cut up the vortex strips if you want to mount T-Track mounted accessories. But other than that, with 165 pound weight capacity, with how easy it is to use and how much extra overhang you have, solid choice. 
So installing this crossbar is a lot easier compared to other styles of crossbars just because a raised rail roof rack is very simple to do. Now the first thing you need to do is just set up your crossbar. You're going to have a spot for vortex strips. Go ahead, push those into your new crossbar and then get the towers on. So we have the tower here. I like to just put that tower into the clamped position. That way you can make it easier for yourself to slide this through the bottom, then open that back up, and then put this onto your raised rails. So it depends on what you're carrying for where you're gonna wanna put these towers. In our case here, I want it a little bit further back so I have more clearance for the window up top, but it really is up to you. One of the things you get to decide is the crossbar spread. So that's measured from one crossbar to another. I do center to center. So here we're 28 inches apart and we're pretty far back. Some people want it a little bit forward and towards the center. That way they can open up the hatch if they're carrying a roof box. But once you figure out which crossbar spread you want, make sure it's the same on the other side. Next, figure out your overhang. That way you have an equal amount of crossbar space on each side. You actually don't need to have an egg perfectly equal. It just looks better that way and more balanced. So measure from the end of your pushed in tower to the end of the crossbar. So here we have three and a half inches. If the other side is the same, great. If it's not, just adjust back and forth so it is the same. Once you're happy with where you have your crossbars, then you can then tighten it down. So see here how the bolt to tighten it down is only accessible with the end cap off. You also have your special Rhino Rack security tool, which also has a torque setting. To prevent over tightening, it has this feature here where if you put the weight on your wrench as you tighten it down and it straightens out, then you know you have good enough tension. If it goes past it, then it's too much. If it doesn't go straight, then it's not enough. Once you tighten down all four towers, then pop that end cap back in and lock it. And just like that, super simple, super easy. You now have a roof rack on your vehicle. You are now ready to hit the road.